This video will give a brief overview on how to edit your boot INI file. To start with, you click Start, Settings, Control Panel, System, Advanced, Startup and Recovery, you can see right here, and then you click Settings, you see Default Operating System, couple options here, and then we just click Edit. So this is your boot INI file. Theoretically, you could put as many different operating systems as you wanted in here to boot upon um, startup or to have the option to boot. Basically, what this does is this directs Windows during its startup to look at these other options to boot. And so as it's booting, it'll pop up right in the middle of the boot and say, do you want to boot Microsoft Windows, or if you have Linux on there, or if you have a Unix server, or you have another version of Windows installed on your computer as a second operating system, Windows will list all those and say, select which one you want to boot. And you arrow key up and down, hit enter, and it will boot that computer. Well, it won't boot the computer. It will boot that operating system on the computer. So it's very easy to edit the boot INI file. The problem becomes it is a very precise thing, and if you screw this up, you won't be able to get into anything. It's just going to ruin your entire installation of Windows. It won't be able to boot, and it probably won't allow you to boot your other operating system you're trying to put it to. So in this particular case, all you do is you go ahead and you click follow those commands and what we're going to do today is we're going to put in a version of Linux that would allow it to start Linux and give you that boot option. So this is assuming that you split your hard drive and the several other things you have to do regarding the boot INI file or prior to using the boot INI file to be able to dual boot a machine. So all you do to add an operating system is you type C colon slash grldr equal quote start linux linux quote that's all you do type that right the issue is you have to type it exactly like that to start linux in this particular example so you get c colon g r l d e r equals and you have to have those quotes in there to be able to make it work. So then what we would do is click file and click save. And I'm not going to do this because I don't want to, I'm not going to dual boot this because it is a virtual machine and several articles I've read on dual booting virtual machines says it can crash your whole system. So I'm not about to do that. But in this case you click save and then you can just exit out of this. Again, I'm not going to. And then exit out here exit out here, exit out here, reboot your system, and that particular option would be up and it would allow you to boot into your Linux install or boot into Windows XP. Now the real issue becomes is virtual machines really have rendered dual booting as kind of a moot point. You can install a Windows operating system or a Linux operating system, install a product like VirtualBox, and then have multiple operating systems on your one computer and never actually have to split or worry about doing any of this kind of more difficult operations. So that was a very brief view on how to edit your boot INI file. Again, this is not something that beginners should be doing, is just going in and start and editing your boot INI file because again, you can do this and corrupt your Windows installation and it can be very difficult to A, get your Windows installation back up and running correctly and B, not lose all your data on your computer. So again, don't take editing this file lightly. Thank you for watching the video, and have a very nice day.